Hi, I'm the actor that plays Let Him Peek on the Let Him Peek YouTube channel. And yes, this did start out as a World of Warships channel, but there's a lot of other titles that really have my attention right now. So I haven't been picking up the controller playing Legends all that much. But since I am the largest creator for tutorial content that this game's ever seen, and it's not even close, we have helped tens of thousands of people answered thousands of questions, hopefully improve the player base. Since I don't play this game that much anymore, will it ever disappear? I doubt it. My gift to the World of Warships community is to remake every single one of the how-tos, plus I'm going to add to this list. Hopefully, we can improve the player base. Even though I don't play it that much, one day I would like to be able to get on and just see really good players playing the game. Even though I don't play it that much, that's okay. This will be my gift to all of you that are still playing. Hopefully we can improve the random player. Help people make better decisions when playing, which should improve your overall gameplay. Thank you for clicking on the video and let's get started. Welcome to the how-to on battleships. Everybody's favorite class. I would be willing to bet Probably 60, 65% of the player base loves to play battleships. For obvious reasons. They're just cool. They fire big shells, tens of miles. But there's a big difference from just playing battleships to playing them really well. Of course, there's all different types of battleships. You've got the King, the Yamato, just fires big shells. That's all it does. But it does it really well. You've got other battleships like this that just fire HE, really big, really damaging HE, and it does it really well. Of course, you've got some types like these that are just really well armored. They carry torpedoes and they have a ton of secondaries. These, in my opinion, are more towards kind of a meme ship. Secondaries in World of Warships are not the main point of damage. Doesn't mean you can't rack up a ton in a short amount of time, but more or less, you mostly play these kind of just to have fun. I wouldn't necessarily say you would pick one of these up to go into some kind of sweaty match that you're trying to win, but I know a lot of people that have run these for a long time and they do it really well. Since we're doing battleships, we're gonna start with the king of the battleships, obviously, the Yamato. A lot of people would probably say, oh, what about the Iowa? Well, in World of Warships, the Iowa is pretty irrelevant. It's a good starter if you're new, but if you've been around for a little while or you're looking to expand, there's definitely other ships like the Iowa that are better. So I'm gonna teach you what I know on how to make this thing really shine, how to make you a better player. Let's get after it. In the conversation of battleships and making you a battleship player, this might be a pretty good example game because almost 50% of the team, I'm not gonna be able to see unless they shoot at me or get spotted by a fellow teammate. Number one, I'm gonna go ahead and say positioning might be the most crucial thing. Putting yourself in a position to where you can compromise the red team, like I'm doing now. Does anyone else see what I see? Let's take this shot. We're gonna analyze, we're gonna look, we're gonna look, we're gonna look. He's a steady quarter speed for absolutely no idea why. What reason? These days I aim just a little bit above the waterline. And the reason is a lot of people end up turning out once they see you shoot. I don't know how that works, how we get three overpins out of that, but look where I'm positioning myself. So almost like a cruiser, I'm gonna be able to sit behind this rock, at least in the opening part of the game. That's unfortunate he just disappeared. Hopefully he gets spotted here again. Since we're a Yamato and we do have a lot of armor, I'm not too, too worried about taking very much damage early on. We don't want to take a bunch, but if we get shot, it's not that big of a deal. Got to remember these things are very big, heavy, slow. Hopefully he's still in that same spot. I doubt he is. Nope. Map awareness, super important. That's like our only threat over there from what's been spotted so far. So now I'm going to actually poke kind of around the corner a little bit. As a battleship guy, that guy right there is is my lifeblood. So I'm gonna do just about everything in my power short of YOLOing a destroyer uh, to keep him alive. Now he's, he's getting pretty far away from me. I don't think he realizes he's out there, he's chasing that battleship. 
he's going to be chasing it for a while. That's the wrong move for him. He's overextending himself to where he really he can't be helped right now. If he was to get into an engagement with someone that could kill him, I couldn't help him. Knowing that I'm not spotted here. Take a look where I'm on the map. Look at the minimap. As a battleship player, I stare at that minimap almost 24-7. Minimap is your lifeblood to information. Information is key and that's what keeps you alive. Since I'm not spotted here, I'm going to move up a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to acquire a little bit of the ground that's kind of in between. We're going to watch, we're going to wait. That guy's also moving up. We lost our gearing over there, which means the red team now owns the right side of the map. They're 100% going to come through this corner. Our Kleber is still chasing damage, which is pretty unfortunate. We knew they were going to be here. You can see I'm already angled. This guy was not expecting me to be here. Power of being unspotted, and hopefully we get a sizable little chunk. We get a sizable chunk. There's two unspotted destroyers over there. Now, sometimes they will just YOLO you, and there's nothing you can really do about that. See how that third gun? Holy... It's a cab, we don't have that much to worry about, but he is gonna try to burn us down. What I'm gonna do at this time, I'm gonna back off. He, the cab's not gonna be able to torp us. They have very short range torpedoes. He's only gonna be able to see us here in a couple seconds. I'm thinking his, that smoke screen ends like right there. Oh. Back up into that. Back up into that. We always shoot at Minos because they really like to explode. For everybody else, but not me. Note how now I'm using this island, I'm backing up here. I'm using this island to disengage. That is interesting. That tells me the other destroyer, somewhere in that lane. I wonder if this guy's gonna delete him. Or if I'm gonna delete him. We're gonna pop the plane, this guy's on the gas pedal. Oh, I clipped that rock. That's... Oh, he's dead. It's kind of unbelievable that he's alive. Back gun, maybe? Can I get a lucky one? That guy absolutely can torp us. Hold on. See, there's a cab. That's our primary objective is to kill the destroyers, especially if their name is Kabarosk. We need a, we need a, we need a sizable hit. Uh, fronts are gonna clip. Now we're in the cab's torp range. So we're gonna kind of just live right here and we're gonna eat Shima torpedoes from the front. See, this is a problem. Our DDs left us and now our DDs are all in the bottom corner while the heavy hitters are here subject to being torped. That's just a uh, DD play. This is tough. This is tough. Oh, that guy dies. That's huge. We gotta watch out, because that cab is still on the back side of this rock. So, keeping your situational awareness, my buddy here is dead. I almost want to keep the front guns loaded and not shoot at this guy, because I'm currently worried about a cabaros coming around this corner and YOLOing me. Okay, he's right there. So now, these guys can fight instead of me. Nice. That's very good for us. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna move up and see if I can't catch something like that in the gap. See, smoke's coming out of his smokestack, so he's moving. He was previously stationary. He threw it back and forward. We are just not getting any good hits with this thing. You're almost kind of letting me down right now. Fighting a GK, you need to understand he's got crazy good armor, but there's a weakness in his armor. And if we can exploit that weakness, we can kill him. Let's talk about this third gun angle. See that, where I don't have the back gun online? There are the back guns online. He's not gonna be able to do very much damage to me in that state with that angling. 
Yes. Right where we want to hit them. So you want to hit them right about there. So in front of that third turret. And this guy's, he's, this guy's lost the war. See, his secondaries are hitting me. They're not really doing that much. I'm bow on now. There's nothing this guy could do. He had to turn for torpedoes. We're going to go right through that back plate. Same spot. There you go. Damage on the fire. Pop the last heal. I do like to keep the last heal. So that's something a lot of people have noticed. When I play battleships, I like to hold on to that last heal. Just in case I get in a situation where I have I have will to rebuild and it's not quite enough and I'm lit on fire and I can pop that heal and supplement my HP a little bit. If you don't die this time. It's unbelievable. That's just unbelievable. That guy needs to go buy a lottery ticket. Now you see, notice I stopped. He's got torpedoes. He wasn't aiming, which, see, there was a torp. The game just ended. He was absolutely torping. Yeah, we had a lot of opportunity that game, and Yama just didn't hit. That's really unfortunate. I'm taking this because people just don't see that much Conqueror content, and I run kind of a different type of build. I believe we've got the HE build on here, which, uh, which is like an AL commander. But this gives me a great opportunity to say this. Even in an HE boat like this, first salvo, always have AP loaded. First salvo, that's when people like to go broadside. They like to do dumb things. AP, first shot every time. Now, see, we're in a slowing stance here. Marble's lucky I can't reach him. We're fighting a Yamato. That AP won't do anything. He's just now waking up. This is a great dodging tactic. He just fired. We're full throttle. So he's gonna shoot for us to be stationary, right? Now we're on the gas pedal, we're turning in. His dispersion looked worse than mine, which is saying something. We're dark from the destroyer, we're gonna load HE. Sometimes it works out where the, you get that nice, nice, nice AP salvo off the rip. You more, more often than not, usually it does. This time it didn't. Yeah, we kind of have a little bit of a broadside there, but with this particular target, firing at Yamato's, even if I was to land in superstructure, I'm not getting anything too crazy. Plus, he just damage con. He just damage con. That's a almost literally guaranteed fire going down range. See, someone just got a fire. Can we get one? Oh, it's because he already had a fire where I, I aimed. Notice what I'm doing here. I'm using throttle to dodge. We have four heals with this particular build. We're set up to fire primarily HE. I don't know what is going on this game. This is a losing posture. Torps are my left. We're getting overrun here on this cap. Those guys didn't even show up to play the game. Don't know what happened to the guys at B. I'm being lit on fire every time. This is just an absolute shit show of a match. This match right here is actually why I'm remaking the entire series. Like, no one knows how to play when they're on blue team. Don't know how that works. I can confidently tell you, without a doubt, the two best players on this team are dead. Because the other seven didn't show up to play. Which is why I'm making this YouTube series. Hopefully this match will go a little bit better. Same commander. Different ship, lower tier, tier six, King George. This actually is one of the better fire spamming boats in the game, especially when it's coupled with this commander. Now, like I said in the last video, I don't know if I left it in the edit, because the entire game collapsed, AP always first shot. You never know what you're gonna see. Um, beginning of the game, people spawn at C and they just really wanna go to A. So there's a lot of opportunity out there for you to Get pretty devastating hits early on in the game. So even if you're in an HE type boat, you're gonna be firing HE 90% of the time. You load AP because you just don't know what is on the horizon. Doing what? And this is a prime example. So now the question is, what are you gonna do? Huh? Just gonna drive straight in? Cool with that. A little server lag there. 
What? We get next to nothing. It's unfortunate those torpedoes got there so fast, but it's an Olin. They have really fast torpedoes. So I think we might have devastated him. We have two destroyers. And both are sitting in smoke. Really want to get that cruiser, though. Really, really need you guys to spot that cruiser. There we go. What are you doing? What are you doing, Chief? Stopping. Oh, dispersion. We are now in a position where we might end up getting spammed. So, to break the line of sight, assuming the destroyer's not in that cap, he's right there. What is going on? Try to save the destroyers. Oh my, what is this dispersion? I promise I'm not I'm not running an anti-dispersion build. Hit it with torps. Thank you. At least light a fire. Oh, a dispersion's significantly better with HE. It just doesn't make much sense. Unfortunately, he's gonna be out of range, so we don't light a fire anyways. Notice how he's shooting at me. I immediately pulled forward. See how shots came from over there. Movement, more often than not, will end up saving a lot of your HP. Maybe, maybe we get a good hit with HE. I don't know. Not really. Three hits for 3k, it's not a whole lot. So far, I'm fairly unimpressed with the, uh, the King George. I'm gonna try to spin where we can kind of sit like a cruiser and lob this corner. Try and get some fires going. It's kind of what this ship is designed to do is get fires going. Remember, keep your situational awareness. Don't know why our Miyoko was headed straight into the cap. All these battleships around. Not a smart play. Don't do that. Something probably worthy of mentioning. Take note of my position here. Okay, he did damage con. So... Hopefully we can lob. You won't ever find me or pretty much any other decent battleship player that far away from hard cover in this game because having the ability to disengage, go dark, even use island cover to block potential incoming damage, that's just how you live longer in this game. The longer you live, the better you off for your team. Aim up just a touch. Rifle. Come on, permanent fire. I believe in you. I believe in you, King George. Okay, now I'm gonna try and keep this island between me and him so I can stay unspotted. And in doing so, I'm gonna move into Bravo. Take note, North Carolina has changed that position and they are pulling out this way. Amagi, Amagi, North Carolina, two things, Kansas, three things we really don't wanna fight head on. Yeah, I'm gonna aim for like right back here. He's he's opening up broadside. That is unheard of. Oh, the plane actually helped me. Please have enough pin. That is why I normally play ships, battleships with big guns. So we didn't have enough pin to get through his torpedo protection there. Is what it is. The cost of playing certain ships. Main turret critically damaged. I never damage con guns, but I'm going to. I'm just looking around here. We're three tier six battleships against an Amagi, a Kansas, a North Carolina, and a Geniza now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop out right here and hope we get a decent hit. Come on. If I can potentially kill this one guy, uh, I might be able to help our destroyers kind of curve the battle a little bit. So yeah, this is where my all of my attention is going to be for the next couple minutes, trying to kill this guy. I'm going to take one to the bow. It's unfortunate. Nothing I can do about it, though. Magi and Magi, salvo. Mm, this game is potentially slipping away from us. 
not, not potentially, it's definitely slipping away from us. I left that guy on nothing. He's dead. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna set up for a blind fire here. I'm sure this guy's torpedoes back. Okay, a little something, not much. In the in the realm of not good, uh, this is pretty high up on it. Oh yes, that's good. Hopefully these don't arm. Don't arm. There's only so much one guy can do. I have half the temptation to take that commander off. But just remember the key things. Remember your positioning, keeping your awareness super high. Very, very important. Have AP loaded on that opening shot because you just never know what you're going to see. Support the friendly destroyers. Anytime it's reasonable. I mean, I'm not saying take an 18 kilometer shot. If he's like super low and one shell will kill him, eh, what do you got to lose? Go ahead and send it. Don't forget this entire playlist will be linked in the description. I appreciate you guys for watching. And until next time, and until next time, have a good week. Peace.